Well, welcome. I'm going to uh, derive the kinematics equations using graphs. So I'm not going to uh, necessarily use calculus, but I'm going to I'm going to be using um, the graph, the motion graphs to derive the kinematics equations. Here are the kinematics equations, and these are for constant acceleration. So, um, in fact, you can't use this one or this one or this one unless you have constant acceleration. The, they insist that you have <clears throat> just a constant acceleration. So I'm going to derive these using some, some graphs. So I'm going to assume that you already know that the following is the case. I'm going to assume that you already know that um, for a, a velocity versus time graph, so a v versus t graph, that the slope, the slope of the graph is acceleration and the area um, that's bound by the graph is displacement. Okay, so the steepness of this is the acceleration. And then the area bound by this graph, so like this area right here, that is your displacement. So the area, that area is displacement. It, for straight line motion, we just say it's delta x for right now. All right, so um, that said, let's go on to um, this graph then. So if you have a graph like this, a v versus t graph, first of all, like what is this, what kind of motion is this describing? Well, it's constant acceleration because the slope is, um, is a, it's a straight line. So the, so the slope of a straight line is constant. And so, and it's positive, so it's accelerating in a positive direction. This thing is speeding up as time goes on. The object's speeding up at, at, um, with a constant acceleration. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to put on a V initial. So let's call this V initial. And then let's call this V final. And then let's call the time it reaches V final TF. All right, so um, now what we're going to start out with um, to get this first equation to get this first equation, V final equals V initial plus AT, um, is we're just going to um, start out with Y equals MX plus B. So Y equals MX plus B. This is the equation for a straight line. It's the slope-intercept equation for a straight line, where M is the um, slope and B is the Y-intercept. Okay, So um, this is when you have a Y versus X graph. But we don't have a y versus x graph, we have a v versus t graph. So my v is the y in this case. So where I see y, I'm going to put a v. Now um, the slope, the, the m, is the acceleration, so I'm going to put a. My x is not x, it's t, because that's t axis, not the x axis. Uh, plus, now my y-intercept is, um, my y-intercept where it goes through the y-axis is, is v naught. Okay, so I've derived that first equation. Uh, we could move that around and we could say that it's v final is equal, is equal to v initial plus a t. That's just moving it around. Now I know that this V final, I change this from V to, to just to V final because that's the V at that time T. So that's what that V is. It's the V at that time T. And since this is TF, then that's going to be um, VF. All right, so that's that one. Okay, now um, to get the next one, um, I'm going to get the area underneath the... Uh, actually, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to get that next one yet. I'm going to go to um, these two now. Okay, to get these, that's the area. Delta X is the area underneath the graph. So the area underneath the graph, there's two ways I could find the area underneath this graph. Um, one is I could recognize that this is a trapezoid. And so the area of a trapezoid is going to be the base times the average height. That's what the area of a trapezoid is. So it's the base of the trapezoid times the average height. And so, um, so the base is going to be TF. So delta X is going to be TF 
that's the base of the trapezoid. And then the average um, height of the trapezoid would be times V final plus V initial divided by 2. Okay, so that's, um, that's this one. That's that equation. All right, and then um, fin uh, not finally, but the next equation, I'm going to get this one. And the way I'm going to do that is instead of using a trapezoid, I'm going to break this into um, a rectangle and a triangle. So the area of the rectangle, just the area of the rectangle, that's going to be um, the area of that, call it um, area 1. That's going to be just the base, T, final, times um, the height of this, so it's V initial. Okay, and then this area right here, area 2, it's going to be the area of a triangle, so that's 1 half the base, T final, times um, the height of the triangle. Now the height of the triangle is V final minus V initial. Okay, so that's the height of the triangle. It's V final minus V initial. Okay, now um, it turns out though that V final minus V initial, if, uh, if you come down here and look at this, if I put V final minus V initial, that's equal to AT. See how if I bring the V naught on the other side, if V final minus V initial, that's equal to AT. So I can replace this with AT. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to replace that with AT, AT final. Okay, so the total area then, the total um, displacement of this thing is just going to be these two areas added up. So delta x, delta x is equal to the two areas. So v um, initial times t final. We're just going to call that t. And then plus the other area, which is one half um, t. Um, times a t and so that's going to be um, that's you can square that t and so now we have that equation okay so we just derived that third equation with just the using the two areas okay the last one to derive this equation uh, I'm not, I'm not going to use um, a graph, but I am going to do the following. Notice that um, we have, in all these, we have time. So each one of these equations, we have time. But um, the nice thing about this equation is you, you use this equation if you're not given the time. And you're, that's not one of the givens. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take um, one of these equations and... Uh, I'll take this this one right here, and I'm going to solve this equation for time and put it into there. Okay, so I'm going to solve this equation right here for time. In other words, time is going to be V final minus V initial divided by A. And I'm going to put that into there, and then let's see what we get. Because when we sub it in, we're going to get rid of time. And that's, that's the point. And so here goes. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to go with um, this equation right here. And I'm going to put in this equation. So it's going to be delta x is equal to t, t, which is t final or t. So it's going to be v final minus v initial over a. So that's t, and then I'm going to put in this term. So that's going to be v final plus v initial divided by 2. Okay, well, so um, this is like 2 times a, the, the numerator, and I'm going to bring that to the other side. So I got 2a delta x 
is equal to. Now I have I'm on top. I'm gonna um, foil this in, and when I when I do that, I'm gonna get this v final squared minus v initial squared, and so v final squared equals v initial squared plus two a delta x. Now I know I didn't use a graph um, for that last one, but um, that, so that's you can actually derive these probably much easier with some calculus. But right now um, I want I wanted you also to see that where you can do it with graphs. Really, they're kind of the same thing because calculus is all about the slope and the area of graphs, anyways, right? So they're kind of the same thing, anyways. All right. Well, um, I'll see you next video.